hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can easily create a tiktok shop or as we all know it a tiktok seller account that you can use to start selling your product and as you can see from my screen you can see that in asia they only have um, indonesia malaysia thailand vietnam philippines and singapore and in europe just the united kingdom and in north america just is united states so in this video i'm going to show you how you can easily set up your tiktok shop even when you are not among the available default country so before we get started here's what you need to know so this is more like a quick disclaimer so for us to be able to do this we're going to be using a vpn so in my own case i'm using express vpn i'm also going to add a link to the vpn at the usual of the video so you can just go there to activate the vpn on your system before we proceed so the second thing I want you to understand is that this is not going to work for everybody 100%. So there's no guarantees here. So in your application, if you make a mistake, TikTok is going to send an email to you asking you to verify your address. That is the address you are using in the US. And if you can't provide the address, I'm not sure your account is not going to be limited. But normally, if there are no mistake in your registration, your application is going to be approved immediately but if there is a mistake now these are what you need to consider will you be able to provide or verify the address they ask you to verify in case there is a mistake because the owner of this account did a mistake why he was trying to create the tiktok shop and this was the email he got from tiktok so you need to ask yourself if this is something you can verify per venture they send this kind of email to you so if you can get this out of the way then you are good to go so once you are okay and you know this is something you can do then uh, the next thing we have to do is to proceed with the registration so for us to be able to create it what we're going to be needing is an llc so what do i mean by an llc so this simply means that we have to set up a business in the us then use our business details in the us to create this tiktok shop so once you've created a business in the us they're going to give you access to an ein you'll be able to request for an ein so this ein is part of what you're going to be using to set up the tiktok shop so what we need is an llc which is a business in the us an ein number a us phone number and a us bank account and finally an itin which is what we're going to be using instead of ssn all right so for us to get started the first thing we're going to have to do is to set up a business in the us that is we have to create an llc in the us all right so let me walk you through how you can actually set up your llc in the us first then request for your ein and when you have your ein we can now proceed to create the tiktok shop so for us to be able to set up our business in the us i'm going to be recommending northwest registered agent to help us with the incorporation of our business so i'm going to add a link to northwest at the duration of the video so just go to the duration of the video click the link there when you click the link it's going to bring you up to a page like this now when it comes to business formation in the us northwest registered agent is actually one of the best agents that can help you set up your business at a very affordable price then give you the best value for your money when it comes to you setting up a business and getting your ein for your llc so to get started all you need to do is just go to the channel video click the link there and once you click on the link it's going to bring you up to a page like this so once you're on a page like this what you want to do is come over here then click on let's get you started so once the page loads it's going to prompt you to choose the kind of business you want to form in the us all right so as you can see here we have llc we have corporation non-profit corporation so the one we're going to be forming is llc so just leave it at llc then scroll down so when you scroll down you're going to see it says where would you like to form your business so when you click on the drop down menu it's going to bring out all of the states in the us but based on my research i was able to discover that new mexico is actually more preferable for those of us that are not in the us because now the state filing fee for new mexico is just 50 dollars and the annual tax fee in new mexico is free all right so what you want to do is just scroll down then look for new mexico so this is it so as you can see the standard processing fee for new mexico is 50 dollars so when you scroll down again you're going to see it says we'll file your beneficial ownership information for you now this is going to cost you nine dollars now this is a recent development for everybody that is trying to form a business in the us so they call it boi report compliance so as you can see now this is nine dollars so it's going to cost us nine dollar for the bo high then for processing it's going to cost us fifty dollar and for business formation it's going to cost us 90 
39 dollar so once you are okay with this what you want to do next is click on continue so we can proceed so here it is what would you like your business name to be so just enter the name of your business yet so i'm going to quickly enter the name of my business here so we can proceed so i've just entered my business name so the next one here says send a copy of lawsuit and legal notice to your antony so if you want yes you can just put yes here and you want no you can put no here all right so it says your business purpose that, that is what is the kind of business you are trying to register so it says the purpose of this um, organization includes but not limited to all right so here i'm just going to enter e-commerce all right so because i'm trying to open my uh, tiktok shop to sell um, physical products so here i'm going to enter e-commerce here so it says e-commerce online selling of general products so after that what you want to do is you want to scroll down so here it says physical address you want on record with the state so uh, one of the perks of you using northwest registered agent is that you don't need to pay for business address again in the us so if you are using other registered agents you're gonna have to pay for a business address that you're going to be using for your business formation in the us but when it comes to northwest registered agents you can use their own business address for free so here it says physical address you want on record with the state so there is the option of our registered agent address so you can just use their own but if you want to use your own if you want to use your own personal address you have an address in the us that you are willing to use just choose your mailing address or specify the address here so if you scroll down again you're going to see mailing address you want on record with the state just leave it at our registered agent address so once you've done that the next thing you want to do now is come over here and click on continue so this section is about your company management so if you click on this drop down menu you can see the option for member manage and manager manage all right so if your business is going to be manager manage you can just select manager manage but most likely it's going to be member manage because it's going to be managed by you so just um include leave it at member manage so it says list member with state so uh, you have the option of listing your name with the state or omitting from the state so i usually go with omit from state so here you're going to enter your own name or the name of the member you want to use for the business registration so here i'm just quickly going to enter my name so we can proceed so once we enter the name the next thing you want to do is you want to come over here then click on continue now so this is your contact details now this is your own personal information and not the business you are trying to register so this is your own personal information so what you want to do here is you want to enter your name then enter your last name here so after that here you want to enter your phone number so if you have a us phone number so this is where you're going to put it all right so I have my own phone number so let me quickly copy this so i've just pasted my phone number so here what you want to do is you want to select the country that you are currently staying now remember this is not about the company you are trying to form this is your own personal information so here what you're going to do is select your own personal country so after that what you want to do is you want to come over here then enter your mailing address your city then state and zip code so once you've done that the next thing you want to do is come over here then click on continue so the next step here is your account setup so this is where you're going to be entering the email address you want to use to create an account with northwest then enter your password here then confirm the password then after that what you want to do is click on continue so we can proceed to the next step so i've just entered my email address and my password so the next thing i'm going to do now is click on continue so the next step here is just an upsell from them to get you to buy more stuff from them so here it says business identity so these are things you can actually do yourself so what you want to do is you want to untick this so once you've untick it what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on continue so the next step here is actually the most important aspect because this is where we're going to be choosing our EIN so what you want to do is you want to scroll down here then click on tax ID so when you click on tax ID as you can see it says have social security number do not have social security number so if you are based in the US or if you have a social security number you can just select the social security number but since you are not a US citizen and you are not a US resident what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on do not have social security number so when you click on this this is going to cost you 200 dollars for the EIN. so i'm going to select this so once i select this the next thing you want to do is you want to come over here then click on continue so when you click on continue so what you want to do here is you want to enter the first name and the last name on your card your card number security code expiring date and once you've done that you want to make payment for the business you want to form in the US and once you've done that you'll be redirected to your account so once you are redirected to your account you'll be able to fill a form 
where you'll be able to request for the EIN. So the EIN usually takes around 14 days. So once you have your EIN, the next thing we want to do now is use the company details and the EIN we've obtained to go and create our TikTok shop or our TikTok seller account. So now that we've incorporated our business in the US, we just need one more thing before we create our TikTok shop and this is getting our ITI here. So you can actually file for this ITI here yourself by filling this form. I'm going to add a link to the form at the description of the video. So you can just fill the form and mail the form to the IRS mailbox. So I'm also going to add a link to this blog post that is going to show you how you can do it yourself. But if you are a non-US citizen and you prefer to use an agent to get it done for you, I'm going to recommend this website. All right. So the name of the website is the ITI. So I'm going to add a link at the description of the video to this website so when you come over to this website you can actually get all of the paperwork done for you so all you have to do is just make payment for the processing and you'll be able to apply for your EIN through this website so once you click on the link I'm going to add addition of the video so it's going to bring you up to a page like this so what you simply want to do is you want to come over here then click on apply for an ITIN so when you click on it you're going to choose the package that you want to do so the only thing you're going to be choosing is this ITIN application Okay, so it comes with uh, a US bank account consultation, 30 minutes kickoff call, a uh, fully online processing, and Stripe and paper consultation. All right, so you don't need the rest, we've done the rest. So all you simply need to do is just scroll down. So this is going to cost you $348, which is a one time fee. All right, so as you can see here, it's a one time fee. So once you've selected this, what you want to do is come down here, then click on Add to Cart. So once you click on add to cart, what you want to do is you want to proceed to check out then make payment for this ITI here. So once your payment is made, you'll be redirected to your account and notify when your ITI here is ready. So once you have your ITI here, the final thing we have to do is to go over to TikTok and actually create the TikTok shop. Okay, so all the information we have now is what we're going to be using to create the TikTok shop. Okay, so to get started, just come over to North American seller here, then click on enter. So here, what you want to do is you want to scroll down, then click on sign up now. So what you want to do is enter your email address, then click on continue. So I'm just going to confirm that I'm not a robot. So let me click um, the same object that have the same shape, which is going to be seven. Then after that, I'm going to click on confirm. So they've just sent a verification code to my email address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my email address, then copy this verification code so I can enter it and so we can proceed. So I'm going to paste it here so we can proceed. So here it says enter a password. So I'm just going to suggest the password here. Then I'm going to click on continue. So here is going to prompt you to choose a business type. So what you want to do is you want to come over here, then click on corporation. Since we've incorporated an LLC in the US, so come over here, click on corporation, then click on next. So what you want to do here is you want to enter the business name you've incorporated in the US alongside the EIN you've requested. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here, then enter my business name. So this is my business name. So let me quickly copy it. So I've entered my business name. So the next thing I'm going to enter is my EIN. So I've also entered my EIN. So the next thing we want to do now is to scroll down. So it says, does your business have a beneficial owner or owners? So yes, this business has at least one beneficial owner. So what you want to do is you want to select yes. So the next thing you want to do now is to scroll down, then enter the business address for your business. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enter my business address here so we can proceed to the next step. So after that, when you scroll down, you're going to see that it says, do you have a parent company? So what you want to do is you want to click on no. So once you click on no, the next thing you want to do is click on this next button so we can proceed. So here is about the primary representative of the business we are trying to use to set up our TikTok shop. So are you the beneficial owner or a business representative? So what you want to do is you want to click on beneficial owner here. Then what you want to do here is you want to enter your legal name, your middle name, and your last name. So your first name, middle name, and last name goes here. So you want to enter your date of birth, your day, and year. So you want to enter your US address here as well. Then after that, you want to come over here, then click on individual um, taxpayer identity number, which is the ITI here you've acquired. So what you want to do is you want to copy and paste your ITI here number here. So let me quickly paste mine here so we can proceed 
So I've just entered my personal details, my address and my date of birth. So the next thing I'm going to do is come over here then click on next. So this is the shop information. So this is where you're going to enter your shop name. So here I'm going to enter my shop name. Then after that, you scroll down, then enter the primary product you're going to be selling on your TikTok shop. So here I'm going to click on the drop down menu, then I'm going to search for beauty and personal care. So I'm going to select beauty and personal care. So after that, you're going to enter your US phone number. Remember, one of the requirements we need for this is a US phone number. So this is where you're going to enter your US phone number. So they are going to send an OTP to your phone number. So you're going to enter the OTP in order for you to verify the phone number. Then after that, you're going to click on submit and proceed to the next stage. So here I'm going to enter my US phone number. Then after that, I'm going to click on send code. So they've just sent the code. So what I want to do is copy the code, paste it here. So in order for them to verify the code. So I'm going to paste my TikTok verification code here. Then after that, I'm going to click on submit. So the last thing you have to do here is confirm all of the information you've provided. If there is any mistake, if you can quickly change it before you submit. So if everything is up to date and everything is correct so what you want to do is just click on submit so as you can see we've just created our tiktok shop and it says here your documents are under review we will notify you of the review results by email so this is going to take a while usually less than 24 hours and they will get back to you all right so this is basically how you can um, create a tiktok shop if you are not from the us so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to the youtube channel please subscribe so you can get more videos like this all right so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one